all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. It's the quote that I end all my videos with. It's the quote that's on the back of most of these Ben Rice shirts. That and Live the Grind split time on those shirts. But I figured today I'd take an opportunity to let you guys know what that means to me. Why it's not just some arbitrary grouping of words that sounded cool and I thought would look good on a t-shirt. And to do that, I'm going to tell a little story. I've told it before. First, I'm going to give you an idea of what this workout's about. Um, this was my quote-unquote heavy squat day, which was basically five doubles at around 80%. It was going to be 525, but it felt too easy, so I added another 10 pounds. And then did some speed benching with 60-second rest periods between everything. I show the first three and then the final set, and then my close grip benching and then high bar squats which I'm still terrible at but they're getting better and my depth is improving on all sets because that's the main focus of this workout and this training block in general. So anyway, there's this professor and he is standing at the front of his class and trying to convince his students that they have more time than they realize. And he takes out a giant mason jar and he has a pile of rocks and this pile of gravel and this pile of sand and a glass of water and he takes the pile of rocks and fills the mason jar up all the way to the top and he asks the students is the jar full and one of the students said yeah the jar is totally full and he said is it really and she said yeah and he takes the handful of gravel and he fills it in and the gravel goes in between the rocks and starts to fill up the jar even more and he says is the jar full now and the students say yeah the jar is full now and he said no it's not and he grabs the handful of sand and he pours the pile of sand in there and the sand grains go and they fill in all the cracks that are still left from the gravel and the rocks and they said now is the jar full and I said yes the jar is full and he said you guys really are not learning this lesson very well and he takes the glass of water and he fills it in the water goes and it seeps into everything and the jar is finally filled with all these things and he says the things that you put with the most importance in your life those are your big rocks everything else is gravel or sand or water and it fills the jar up and it fills the jar up but you have to make sure that you put them in in the right order or else they won't work and some of the students looked at him confused and he said what if I take this and he pulls out another jar and he takes a giant pile of sand and he fills the jar with sand he goes can you fit the gravel or the rocks or anything else in this right now and the students started to get the idea and said no you can't it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna spill out it's not gonna work you can't fill your life with so many things that are the small details you have to base it around the big core things and what those are to you can differ um, maybe in my life it's things like music and my family and lifting and my faith and those are the things that are at the core and the center of my being and everything else complements those and you try to fit it in around it but you have to make sure that you always have your priorities in the order that is going to allow you to keep those if you fill your life with a whole bunch of tiny rocks and you fill your life with a whole bunch of sand you're not going to be able to then put those bigger parts the core things in there and it's a real lesson in priorities I think and the analogy may or may not work for you but it's something that I consider a lot when I'm planning my activities, when I'm planning the actions that I take in general and the way that I interact with people and the way that I promise to do things or don't do things. I'm a really busy guy and I try to balance a lot of big rocks in my life. I have a lot of things that I put quite a bit of work and, and focus and importance into. but that is a skill that you develop and you can't constantly tell yourself that you're gonna have more time later because you I mean that's the one thing we don't really control it's it's something that we plan ahead for and we try but it's it's ultimately out of our hands and we have to do everything we can with the time that we're given and fill your life up with the things that are gonna be the most effective to get you to where you wanna be um, that's one of the big reasons that when people are studying something in school that they don't care about just to get a job, I am utterly against that philosophy. I think that you should always pursue the things that you're passionate about because what is the point of pursuing and living a life that doesn't satisfy you in any way other than financially? Because at the end of the day, money is not going to matter and it's not going to be important. 
all that's going to matter is the impact that you've had on other people and the impact that they've had on you. Those experiences, those memories, that life that you have lived is what is going to be remembered and that's going to be the mark that you leave. So I guess what I'm trying to say is make sure that you fill your jar with big rocks and if you have space left over you can put the other stuff in there but make sure that you hit your priorities first and that's the time that we're given. So. Sorry for getting a little, if that was a little too philosophical for some of you guys and you just came to watch the weightlifting go on, but I'll use this last set as an opportunity to kind of tell you guys some of the things that are going on right now. Um, <laughs> when I thought that I was going to have a lot more time, I didn't factor in the uh, big rock that happens to be my work schedule, and I've been doing split shifts and stuff, and so I haven't had as much free time as I planned on, but I'm going to make it work, and I have a couple openings later in this week um, that should be long enough for me to get some real stuff done. Uh, these you're seeing are the high bar squats was not the most amazing set and I actually was laughing at just how ridiculous I feel doing these because I don't think they're very good but I feel like they're better than they were last week when I first started them so you know progress is progress and you can't be picky when you're when you're making that growth um, if you guys are interested I have figured I should let you know I did start an Instagram page yesterday and was blown away by how quickly people have been jumping on that and following along I, start, I reactivated a Twitter account if you guys are into that kind of thing, and I'll have my Facebook athlete page linked in the description. Uh, just trying to make myself a little more accessible to people that are interested in following for motivation or any way that I can continue to help. I just figure I should open myself up to those possibilities. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, rating, share it with your friends. Check out those other social media things if that's your if that's your deal and that's what you like to do. Um, the Ben Rice shirts are available from strengthcrew.com. I'll link that down in the description with my uh, written workout log. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great week so far, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye.